Welcome back everybody to the single player world. We are back in this city yet again and we are doing some building today because I've been having that itch to just keep doing a bunch of building in this place. Get it going forward and, and keep this place growing larger and larger, looking better and better. And uh, I've cheated a little bit. I did start today in a pretty cool area that we've, we've kind of finished a lot of. So I guess it's kind of cool. But let's go over to the spot that is not yet finished where we were last episode. And in fact, we've done some cool stuff around there. So whatever we left it off on, uh, throw that out because we've got some cool stuff there. I've, I've been pretty busy. Let me show you this. And in fact, not only that, have I been very busy in this area. I've got some very big plans and busy outside of this world, in fact, with a lot of cool stuff that has quite honestly inspired this episode a lot. And you, you surely will figure that out a bit further in the episode. But we've got some really cool things that's on the way today. But right now, this is what we're looking at. A brand new house here. And this one here mostly finished on the outside. This is what we did in the last episode and I, I was kind of showing off how I've been doing these curved roofs which have been quite a great addition to this uh, to this world and this whole village or the city that we've got here and then this one over here is yet another one of those curved roofs. One of the best things I've uh, I've at least added to to like the my building arsenal I guess to to add into here and it, it's looking fantastic I think. Look at that. Look at that. Neat little design. This was just me, I felt like playing around. Sometimes I just feel like building in the world, and, and this was just what came around. A, a little bit of a house here. Nothing too much, and it's it's got a lot of room for expansion. So I've, I've been building in these module pieces where we've got this piece in here. You can't really do much with that, so I'm probably going to bump these walls out and push it out the other way. But it's more just for the exterior that we want here. Now, the I interesting thing about this house, and the reason we built this house, is specifically to not use the house. We, we don't actually need the house for, for any real reason right now. We will eventually, but currently it's it's not really too important. What I do want, though, is I want to do a bit of the gardening on the outside of the house, which seems a bit of weird to do gardening by well, building the house just for the gardening. But what I've recently been, been doing is we've just recently restarted our Patreon server for the world that will eventually be the 1.13 world. And it's very, very exciting, and there's a lot of people enjoying it a lot. But the cool thing about that, which I thought was a neat little thing, is because our world will be reset, We've got a second overworld in there, which is made with a mod called the Biome Bundle. And uh, and I'll, I'll definitely leave a link down below so you can actually check it out. Because I, I don't think I could do it justice. And <laughs> it's uh, it's almost crazy how much I've, I've how much praise I've given to this this particular mod. But it's amazing. It's it's truly just made, made the world so beautiful. And I've been having a look at some of the things that it's got. Some of the trees that it has in it. And uh, just, just the natural terrain that it makes. And... The, the interesting mountains and stuff like that. And, and you guys know I'm quite quite the sucker for mountains and interesting trees and weird terrains like that. And that, it, certainly, it certainly does have some amazing stuff in it. So what I want to do today is use some of the stuff that I've learned and some rather, let's put it, uh, rather out of the ordinary stuff uh, that I've learned from it. And uh, try and hopefully, hopefully trans, uh, transfer you guys, or not that, I mean, convince you, convince you otherwise about a particular wood and a particular tree that may very well uh, look good in this world today. I hope, I hope I can do that. <laughs> that's the, that's the challenge of the day right now. And that is a, a birch tree. And I've, I've had a look at some of the birch trees they've made there. And I never thought I would say the day, like, that birch tree looks pretty darn good. And I, I think today will be the day that we'll we'll say that. And if if not, it, we can maybe say that birch tree is significantly more tolerable. That's that's all we really want. We just want those one of those two things, and we've succeeded. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get these gardens in here, so we can add in some trees which would fit in with the city, fit in with uh, what a gardener would do in this. So imagine a, a person who looks after everything around here, the parks and all these things, these trees around here. In fact, there's there's somewhat of a birch tree with an acacia bottom piece, but we're going full out. We, we're not messing around here. We're going full birch log and everything today. Don't, don't, you, uh, don't you doubt that. Even, I'm that serious. Look at that. That serious that we're going full out birch. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens and we'll also see how it turns out. But uh, I'm pretty confident that it's going to look pretty, 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 pretty. That, that's that's the, the case. And not only that, by the way, we also are doing a bit of work around here. I just picture this right here. We're, we're actually picture it from the birch tree thing. That's not necessarily a birch tree. This looks pretty cool. This house looks nice. This one looks very good as well, I think. They look very similar. 
There's a lot of things t pulled across them, and that's creating a, a very monotonous feel to this. It's just a very boring look to this. So today what we are doing is we are adding in some nature. We are going to add in some color, and maybe maybe we've given something away with some of the stuff in our inventory that we are going to be doing. Uh, but we're going to make this place a bit more colorful and a bit more lively, and it gives you this vibe like this over here. Look at this. Everything just around here. Filling this area up, you can't even make out what everything is most of the time, but it's the what makes this place look lively, and it makes it look like there could be people who are here doing some stuff around here. That's what we want, and I think that's what we will hopefully get from adding in a bit more bushes, a few more trees, a bit more liveliness like that. And, and not only that, also the items and stuff that we add in, which is probably the more difficult stuff to add into Minecraft worlds. Uh, just your just your wheelbarrows, your things like that. That's that's what makes the big, big difference. So what I want to do, enough talk. Let's let's go prove this. I actually need to remember, Jansi, you need to do this area as well. Uh, but let's let's just prove this. How about we go up? Let's just go, I don't know. What, what was the height we were on here? Let's, let's check this out. So we're currently on Y71. I'd say probably like 15 blocks. Let's let's go for this. So there's a few things I've picked up about what makes birch trees look better. What is that now? Uh, two more. Uh, what may make birch trees look a little bit better? And that is making them larger and making them actually look like what a birch tree looks like. The birch trees in the game, they look like these little potato... I like to call them potato trees. They look like they've just kind of been squashed into the ground. Like, they just look like it. And uh, I think that that hopefully will be what will fix up birch trees once and for all for us, is to get them to look like a birch tree looks. In fact, this is silly. I know what I'm doing. I've, I've played around with these ideas a bit. So let's put these around here and give this a go. So hopefully, if we can get this birch tree to look a lot larger, and I've got a few other things which we'll do to it to make it look a bit more natural as well. But yeah, you'll see what I'm, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're just gonna go up with these straight pieces like this. There we go. I've been getting a lot of those little bugs recently, more than average. I feel like I've just I've had the had the dice rolling against me every time I've been doing that. I think it's a one in eight chance of getting it, and I've I've got them all day today, just nonstop. But it's all right. It's not a, not a big deal. But it's uh, they certainly are quite annoying those little bugs. So my thought is, once we go up here. We'll be able to look at the shape of this tree, the general shape of it, and when you look at a birch tree out in the wild, it, it probably doesn't have quite as black rings like these do, these birch logs, and I think that's what really, really hurts the birch tree, is these little black pieces, I, I think we can all agree that's what it is. I would love to see them go a little bit more grey. Uh, that would that would honestly work wonders for it. Um, okay, let me, let me do this. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, you there. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. That'll be fine. We'll, we'll mess with that now. So, stuff like this over here. I want to see if I can push this, if I can get away at least with pushing this out. One more block around here. Making it a lot more fat and giving us the ability to add in a bit more detail to the tree. So, what I'm really going for here is this very base, base, uh, I guess, canvas for us to work on. And get that there. And let's quickly sleep as well. So, jump into the road. And again. Thank you. And we'll, we'll just quickly sleep in one of my favorite little builds, this little wagon as well. A little neat little thing. So, have a rough night's sleep. There we go. And don't ask me what's going on. I actually have got absolutely no, no idea what's going on with this bed. It's just a weird one. It's just uncomfortable. Got a spring missing. So let's go and check this out. You can see it's sticking out the top there. That's already cool. I like the I like the nature coming into this, this area. It's, it definitely adds in a nice feel to it. And... Yeah, I can see this. I can see this working for us. Uh, just actually, let's just quickly grab a bit of a bit of iron, and I've got it in one of my miscellaneous chests. Not that one, that one. Uh, just two of those. That'll be good. Get ourselves one of these. It'll make our life so much easier when we get to the stage of adding in more leaves. Is that all the- oh wow, we've gone through a full stack of leaves. I only brought two stacks, so we'll see how we go. Uh, but we should be- we should be getting some back soon. That's too short. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And we'll add these two back in again. There we go. So this is the thought now. So we're gonna put these in like this. We'll add in some more around here, like this. And having these little gaps as well isn't too bad because we're gonna go through and we're gonna break them up a bit more as well. 
which will which will make the tree look a little bit more natural and not as boxy because that's the the problem I've had every time I've tried to do something like this this looks a bit bo boxy and in fact the ones in the biome bundle will actually do look boxy but they they still look all right they still look very good and enough to have persuaded me that birch could actually be a good looking tree so that that's that's saying something about those trees and uh, I think the thing with them is uh, there are a few that have got a few leaves missing in that, of course. And I think that makes it look a little bit more natural. And, and that's obviously the jagged sort of style we go for in general in this world. I think that's just uh, what I've picked up over the, over the time is adding in a bit, more, a bit more of a rough style to my build sometimes. And, and avoiding the clean style sometimes is also something that, that I kind of can't get myself away from. So it's just, just the way I do. So there we go get these in here there we go. beautiful that's good enough i think for us to to add in a bit more stuff in fact we don't have enough anything else so we've got no other option now let's just add well subtract some leaves so we take there take there uh maybe a few pieces like that there there and we'll we'll just start pulling away from these things like this slowly but surely leave there and oh okay Hmm. Stuff like that. I, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm probably going to go around. This seems like it's going to take a bit of time. So we'll we'll just go up and we'll work our way down taking some of this stuff away and then go do another loop. Go do another loop and go do it like that. So that's that's probably not going to be too exciting. So I'll, I will do that off camera. But I think I might actually need some more birch, uh, birch leaves, weirdly. Which is something... Another phrase that I never thought I'd be, be hearing myself say because... Oh, you know what, actually, there is a bit of, in all fairness, the leaves aren't the problem. The leaves, the leaves are actually very useful in a biome just like this, because it makes them dull, unlike these super green ones. But I think the leaves, the leaves are definitely a lot more uglier sometimes as well, with the new textures. A very short while later, and that is what we're looking at. Two of these brand new uh, spruce, oh, birch trees. There we go, we got it. Perfect. I thought we were just about to miss that. <laughs> but two brand new birch trees and a little bit of a, a, a cart over there. I just thought I'd do a little wheelbarrow. In fact, this needs to go. Don't know what the hell, what is going on here. Let's just get that, get that. That'll be good. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe, maybe a little bit more there. Okay, we'll leave. We'll get to them before, we'll get to them shortly. Tell me what you think about this, by the way. Is this, has this changed your mind on, on birch trees? I feel like it's changed mine a little bit. Uh, maybe I could, I could probably do a bit of a, a better job on this. I could probably learn a bit more, do a few more of them. But it's great to add a brand new tree into the city. Something that you would imagine would be planted in these places. Keep the keep the leaves off the ground as much as possible. Try and not get in the way of the buildings as much. But still add a little bit of life to it. I think that, that does sort of do the trick there. So let's go around here and do the next thing. Because you'll notice, in fact, let's not go here. Let's go right over here. You'll notice I said we're going to be adding some color to this place. We haven't done that just yet. So let's start the first little wave of color and uh, get into these garden beds because that was the that was the main part of this episode. The gardening, the, the stuff that doesn't necessarily stick out to you immediately, but it's extremely important and it's the stuff that makes the big differences in the end anyway. So let's let's get into them. In fact, that can go like that. There we go. Put this coarse dirt. By the way, that's coarse dirt. Just if you're wondering, the the good stuff. A bit of that there. And maybe one of these over here. And then around here, we'll just drop one of those in there. And we'll just get rid of a bit of this stuff around here. So this is this is some of the stuff that I, I find. I tend to underestimate the difference. And I, I'm very, very fully aware myself of what it is. Um, is that? That's cool still, right? Yeah, should be. Cool. Uh, I'm very well aware of what the, the difference is that it can do. But I, I always forget. You know, you just... You get so entrenched in the building itself, and you, you forget to look at the rest of the other, the rest of the cool stuff around the place. Let's just get some of these, just in there. The cool thing is when I when I place them down like this, I can actually place them on the. Oh, okay, well that's fine. Uh, I can actually place them on top of the, the the dirt blocks, and not not any of the glass the grass blocks. Man, I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, not any of the grass blocks. There we go. Something like that, and maybe one of these ones at the back like that, and a bit of spruce. And I think we should be all good on these gardens here. Just a very simple sort of thing. And that can actually go down here. There. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, just some, some stuff like this helps it out. Fills it up a bit. Yeah, that's good. Walk past that one there. And then we probably need a few more here. Let's just do a little bit of a, a barrier there like that. And there and there. 
yeah, it fills it up very well. So that's stage one of getting more color in. I think you can see there is a little bit more color, but we also want to add a little bit more to the color that we've already just added in. And that's going to be through these cool little drooping things. I don't know what to call them. Uh, I guess like banner holders. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, try and think of it as, as just a, a way of making it a bit more lively. Uh, they look sort of like clothing lines, I guess, but they, they're not intended on being a clothing line. These particular ones, I guess, aren't intended on being clothes lines. So let's do something like that uh, around here, and we'll connect this up to this over here. And I've done this around the city to, to try and make it as if there's a festival going on or some celebration of, of some nature. And I can't actually remember what the last occasion was that I did it, but I did it for a, a, an occasion during a, an occasion for, I think, a real-life uh, event but uh, I can't quite remember what it was. So that's all right. We will just keep it going. We'll just keep this stuff uh, going throughout the city because I think it's, it's made a cool a cool difference to it. So something like that. Yeah, look at that. It fills up this vertical space, really detracts from a lot of the stuff you see beyond this, which is awesome. So that's the first one. Let's just start getting some stuff involved on this one. So maybe a little bit of the red, just very lightly. We don't want to go too crazy with this. In fact... I do not want it to be touching two things, so we'll probably drape it or yeah, drape it down like that. Uh, there, like there, and this over here. These two colors actually work very well, and I've give I gave the the color update a little bit too much slack. I, I really I think there there's some cool stuff with it. As much as I thought they were extremely vibrant, which I totally still agree with. <laughs> uh, the the light blue and, for instance, the, the red isn't too. If I remember too much different, I, it's been a while. Uh, but the light blue certainly was one of the ones that I was kind of a little bit upset about when it changed back in 1.12, which is the current version we're playing on. But yeah, back when we changed over, I was really not too happy with it. But now I'm I'm slowly getting getting on board with it it's uh, it's maybe just taking me a bit of time to get used to i think that's the thing you gotta just sometimes play around with it a bit more until you eventually get comfortable with it and, and now i'm comfy with it but before oh man totally not <laughs> uh so there we go something like that just little lantern sort of things that's really cool holds the banners holds the lanterns let's do another one up here Th this is the type the type of stuff that i've really been loving just adding into the city that i don't necessarily think about before and and you you kind of come up with these as you go, and I think they look really great to add in a bit more life to the place. So let's do this one. And what I want to think about when I'm doing this one, actually, can I... Yeah, I can get through there, and... Oh, oh, just made that. That was <laughs> that would have been very close. Uh, I'll probably connect it up here, but what I want this to do is I want this to go down and then go back up again, as if, it's, as if the weight is in the middle of this. So, yeah, let's do something like this, there, and thank goodness... Leaves don't connect up to it. Let's go over here. Actually, this also was added, if you guys were wondering. That was something else I added in uh, between uh, between now and before when we were doing the ground and stuff like that. So if I go here, maybe up. Uh, half slabs. All right. You, you half slabs, you really do. <laughs> do come in the worst of times. I feel like every time I've ever needed half slabs to not be, to actually help me, they're never there, but when I at least need them, they are there. It's it's just one of those things. I'm very, very inconvenient with my block placing of, of the half slabs. Let's have a look at this now, real quick. Does it give me that? Yeah, it definitely gives me that feeling that this is dripping down. It actually kind of looks like it's hanging on top of the tree, which kind of <laughs> adds a little bit of something. Although I think this over here, this one, needs to come out like that. Something along those lines there let's try this out get that super super expensive oak is actually incredibly expensive for me yeah this needs to come down a little bit more here actually so it's a bit of touching up we actually got the first one pretty right pretty quickly but there's definitely a bit of touching up that needs to be done to these sorts of things that one there that one there and certainly that one and there now let's have a look at this i think this is going to be the the one no, it's not connected. <laughs> but close enough. Let's let's keep going with it. And make two mistakes in a row. So there we go. Uh, here. Alright, that's good enough for us to work with. It's, it's just a little bit of wrestling with my own builds. So if we can put another one of these in here. The red is meant to signify this village over here, which is 
meant to be coming to grips with the blue of the the other town all the way the the rival town i guess on the other side i guess that was my my original thought of it but who knows what it actually what it actually is that was just what i was thinking so there and we'll add in another one of these the actual lanterns in more ways than just being sea lanterns lanterns for this here as well yeah that's cool and maybe we can do something like that and oh no 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 that's actually that's kind of cool actually this double one not over there but but in general that could be something we could use for sure so step back and put yourselves up over there yeah look at that that is that is exactly exactly what i was hoping for oh not that there that certainly wasn't the case but this this really busy feel to it it's kind of got like a little bit of a hustle and bustle feel even though there's nothing going on it does definitely do that and just this has caught my eye down here at the bottom it needs a bit of love this just needs a little bit more love just overgrown bushes that's that's the the go-to when something doesn't work for you when in doubt add the bushes and I think they do work very well for that so here's another little thing which I think I will do and I want to just give it a test out which is over here this piece oh no uh, this piece over here I've been looking and it's been very boring and what I think I'll do is I'll be able to fix up this area here like these sorts of places but this long piece here I want to think about something I could put in here perhaps coming from the wall perhaps I don't know maybe going into the wall could help as well uh, let me know if you've got any thoughts for idea for the flat wall. If you do, just say, hey, Jancy, I've got an idea for the flat wall. And I'll know what you're talking about because... And then, of course, you, you can't just tell me you've got an idea because... Tell me you've got an idea, that's great. I need to know the idea, so that'll be great. <laughs> Not as if that's the the culprits in my... <laughs> the Everyone in my uh, comment section saying, Jancy, I've got an idea. That that doesn't happen, but I, I hope it's... Uh, Hope it actually gets followed by a great idea, because I'm kind of lost for ideas. In fact, here's another hole in the hole in a wall that I need to put some more stuff into. But that one I've, I've got some cool thoughts for. So let's head back here and give this another go. And eat our food. Very important. Perfect. All right, so get rid of that, get rid of that. And we now have the second bunch of blocks. And we'll just go up there. Man, I just keep missing that one. Okay, that's definitely made it up here. So here's what I'm thinking, because I've been doing a lot of messier things, and messy is not a bad thing. Let me tell you that. Being messy is sometimes quite a quite a benefit, because a lot of the time, specifically with the, the creative sort of thing and the, the building stuff that you do, uh, you can very easily find yourself doing a lot of the same stuff over and over again, and being messy sometimes pushes you well out of your comfort zone and, and helps you out a bit. This one in particular was not too helpful. Uh, just yet, but it, it definitely showed me here. Yeah, something like that. Look at that. Just a little bit of stuff. And to be completely honest, I, I did have a hunch this was going to work, so it's not <laughs> it's not just me coming up with that as we go. It was kind of informed, but there we go. We can have a look at that. It's very weird, and it, it certainly helps this area, but it's something you don't necessarily think about. Normally, if, if you had asked me a few months ago, I would have just gone ahead and put in a, a very easy bar barrier like that or something. Which isn't necessarily bad, but it, it adds on a little bit more to it when I do it this way. So let's just do a bit more here. Just give it the proof of concept, of, of course. Test it out here and there. Just like that. Yeah, that actually works very well. I'm happy with that. That works well going onto that and going onto the rest of the stuff there. So what I think, because we've done a lot this episode, a lot of great stuff, little things that have made a very big difference, I think we'll call it an episode there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully we've got somewhere new, something new has been discovered, birch trees. Tell me what to think about them. But thank you very much for joining me today in our world here, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.